But there's one provision in here that I really want to call the attention of the Senate to. And it's one that troubles me greatly. It is a provision that calls for, requires, that the United States Senate and House of Representatives, before December 31st of this year, vote on a constitutional amendment to balance the budget. Madam President, I searched this bill long and hard to find the language of that constitutional amendment because I thought, if we're going to have to face the prospect of amending the Constitution, I want to know what the language is. This is a, an awesome responsibility. Madam President, you can read this bill from top to bottom. There is not one word of substance about that amendment. All it says is the House and Senate shall consider a bill which is a, quote, joint resolution to amend the Constitution of the United States to balance the budget. End of quote, end of substance, end of reference in this bill. It gets better. Not only do they require us to take up a balanced budget amendment, and fail to include the language of that amendment, listen closely, this bill says there shall be no amendments to the proposed resolution in committee in the House or on the floor of the House, in the committees of the Senate, nor on the floor of the Senate. Take it or leave it. As I say these words, I can imagine Robert C. Byrd descending from heaven standing at that desk and waving this Constitution and reminding members of the United States Senate that one of the few times in our lives when we've taken a solemn oath, members of the Senate swore to uphold and defend this document, this writing. He would find it nothing short of outrageous that we are mandating a vote on a constitutional amendment that is not even written, that we are prohibiting the House and the Senate from considering, even considering, the change of one word in that proposed constitutional amendment. Madam President, I think the language of this bill entirely discredits this effort toward a constitutional amendment. We cannot take it seriously if we take our oath seriously to uphold and defend this document.